Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. I had to go to the lady doctor on uh, Monday or Tuesday. How oh, that's exciting. Yeah, it's uh, it's always exciting. <laughs> Once a year, you just can't even you can't even wait for it. If you remember last year, there's always just always something. Last year, they couldn't make me appointment an appointment for like weeks out, and then they were calling me saying, "Hey, can you come in today?" I'm like, "That's not an appointment. You just like pop it into." You need to be hey, you need to be ready. Gotta be ready. Like, yeah, you, yeah. You, and I don't know if I'm the only one. I would love to know seven zero two five nine seven one zero two seven text or call. Am I the only one that go like I I went home and got ready as if I was going to like a On first a date. date. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not first date, not first date. No yeah. <laughs> Come on, I'm a lady. I'm not a floozy. <laughs> Got to buy me dinner. Like first. at least a second. But day. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, go home, get ready, and uh, and and go to the doctor. It's just awkward. I don't know. Uh, I, I want to. <laughs> it's just awkward always. I walk in. How's your? How's your? It was Monday. How's your Monday going? Well, it was great until honestly, I, I came in here, and <laughs> and I feel bad for them, but they everybody knows it's just awkward. Assume the position. <laughs> yep, yep. And then, of course, I said, what are the odds he's going to tell me to scoot? And uh, he absolutely did. Scoot down a little bit for me until you feel like you're falling off the table. That's quote, unquote, every doctor, every OB, your uh, gyno has the their their quote that they say. They don't want to be, get, they don't no. want to lean in. Nope, for sure. So <laughs> after I got it uh, done, I said, I want to get some blood work done. I want to get my hormones checked because I am getting like, hormonal acne on my chin and I can't sleep and I have night sweats and I'm irritable. Well, I'm always irritable. So <laughs> my whole life has been happening. <laughs> so he said, yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get some, we'll order the blood work and all of that. And I'm also going to have you do an ultrasound and see if uh, maybe like PCOS or something. Okay, cool. PCOS? It's, I forget the exact, but it's like, um, like polyps on your ovaries or something. Oh, that sounds fun. Not, no, no I mean, it's, it's, Interesting. I don't oh. think that I have that. I could. I'm not sure, but we're going to get an ultrasound to see, right? Okay, great. So make an appointment uh, with the girls up front. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm going to make an appointment. Um, can I do it maybe next week? Well, we can only do it on Wednesdays. Okay, well, we could do next Wednesday. Well, it has to be uh, within 72 hours of the end of your cycle. So um, it has to be within 72 hours of the end of your cycle, uh, only on a Wednesday. <laughs> so wait, so you need to really time your cycle. You can't. <laughs> so I'm like, huh, that's uh, difficult. Start, so, start bleeding. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I can't going. even. <laughs> so I'm looking at the calendar and I'm like, okay, well, this month isn't going to work. Let's do May. And I look, May is not going to work. Let's do June. Okay, cool. June, what uh, what time would you like? She asks me. Uh, could we do like a one o'clock? Oh, it's only mornings. Okay, um, <laughs> we could do. I could probably try an eleven. Oh no, the latest we have is eight forty-five. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> so you know, all I hear is be... <laughs> all I hear is no a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. No, you bring it's the phone in, and you, you that way we get you off of not having to take a day off of work, and That's... you just go in with the phone, and I want you to get it done live on the show. I was like, why this? You couldn't make it more difficult, and also you're obviously not too. Uh, not too worried about me getting this done. Only Wednesdays, only morning has to be within 72. I'm like, this isn't going to work. I'll do the blood work and uh, we'll figure it out from well, there. Let's just start, start from the start. Like, why are only why are doctors' offices only open during business hours? Like, can you? Like, they know. should be open anytime other than business hours. Actually, I know. I know. Nine to five. Okay, you should be open from like five p.m. to like eleven p.m. Mm -hmm. That'd be excellent. Yeah, and that's what I said to her too. I was like, "So, do you, normal people honestly just take a whole day off to come in here for?" And she's like, "Well, like a half day." I'm like, "Oh well, I'm can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do you it. You can take a half show. <laughs> yeah, I guess go from six to eight, and then we'll be uh, we'll all know. We'll, like right <laughs> yeah. at eight forty five, I will literally go on air and be like, uh, "It's one two seven BGS." Uh, if you're wondering what Amy's doing at this very moment, she's scooching. <laughs> no, no, no. This is an ultrasound. Oh. She thinks she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> nope, not unless. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. So I don't know. I, I'm like that. This is has got to be the most difficult thing to to make 
an appointment for this. I, I just think they make it hard for you. So then he said, who's your PCP? I said, I don't have one. I see you more than anybody, and it's once a year. Yeah. So he said, that's not good. I said, well, nobody accepts new patients, so I don't say. It is it is a little tough. It yes. is a little tough out And if they streets. say online we're accepting new patients, you call, yes, okay, cool. You take my insurance, accept new patients. Hi, I'm a new patient. We're not accepting new yeah, patients. <laughs> it really is <laughs> Fix tough. your, your yeah. website. Uh, and just in general, like if you find a doctor, like I remember all the research that was done, finding the right person because we were technically a high-risk pregnancy because mm-hmm. it was over 35. Mm-hmm. We finally found this is the person. Everyone says this is the greatest person. The first meeting. They're like, uh, so this is kind of sucks, but uh, this is like my last week. Mm-mm. I'm moving to wherever. <laughs> oh I'm God. like, oh my. Okay, great. Awesome. Did Ever- they give you a new one? Yeah. Did they like sure, offer they up fine. somebody? Yeah. Yeah. There were another person volunteered as tribute. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know, man. It's so hard. So I don't know if I'll ever get that ultrasound. I said, we'll start with the blood work. Okay. I got that done. And, uh, and hopefully I just don't have to schedule it. I don't know. It's yeah. just so odd. Uh, I just can't stand going to the gynecologist. Draft and also, odds. like, do you choose that? You're like, you know what? This is what I want to do. Because I get, like, delivering the babies. But also, that can be scary, too. Or being an ultrasound tech. Like, how fun is that? It's a boy. It's a girl. It's twins. It's whatever. But then also, it's it can also be sad, cancer. too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, so, it's, it's like, good. man... I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> What's the toughest job you could... I mean, I guess the most disappointing... Well, we, we hang up on people that lose... Mm-hmm. But we really, we, we try to get rid of them as long as possible so we don't have that awkward moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not awkward. You can't do that in ultrasound like, oh, it's bad news. You should get out. Yeah. <laughs>